Well, they've been our heroes through the pandemic. Now more than a dozen nurses in Kipps Bay wondering why the city can't give them a break after getting slammed with parking tickets in the midst of the crisis, costing thousands. The problem? They didn't even know they were getting the tickets because nothing was left on their windshield. Here's Safan Kim with an Eyewitness News exclusive. It was like nothing I'd ever experienced in my whole career. For registered nurses like Olivier Germain, the peak of the pandemic in New York was a dark time. There were so many people without family members who were alone in those rooms, who were passing away, and we were like their family members. But for Jermaine and more than a dozen hospital staff in Kipps Bay, their heroism was met by thousands and thousands of dollars of parking tickets from the city. Thank you for your service. We just received tickets after tickets after tickets. This happened on East 19th Street and 2nd Avenue, where this lane is a metered parking lane after 7 p.m., but it turns into a bus lane after 7 a.m. These nurses say the problem is they didn't have time to come out and move their cars in the middle of their shifts because they were busy inside the hospital saving lives. This was the middle of the pandemic. I don't even think you understand. There, were no, there was no time for bathroom breaks. There was no time for water. There was no time to even turn around because your, your patients were crashing at any point. Eyewitness News spoke exclusively with several registered nurses who say these tickets were not left on their windshields. Instead, generated by a bus lane camera. So they had no idea tickets were piling up until they began arriving in the mail more than a month after they were issued. Jermaine, for his part, rented a car because he didn't want to take a train from Brooklyn thinking he could be a super spreader. He only discovered the tickets because he now owes Hertz more than $1,500 for the summonses plus the processing fees that got tacked on top. The amount just kept rolling up. So day by day, as you check, it just kept adding on and adding on. They tried disputing the tickets, not a valid defense, guilty. In a statement, a spokesperson says DOT is tremendously grateful for the essential workers. We will work closely to review the violations in question. Please note the mailing of some automated enforcement notices of violation were delayed during the COVID-19 emergency. The city said they loved us. The city said we are heroes. There were flyovers all the time, but quite frankly, they failed us in this instance. In Manhattan, Safan Kim, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.